Welcome to Practice Update. I'm your host, Dr. Jennifer Caudill, and joining me today is Dr. Anton Snegavoy. Dr. Snegavoy, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Thank you for your invitation. I will be happy to discuss some uh, key aspect about supportive care in the ESMA Congress. Wonderful. We're, well, we're happy that you're here as well. Um, so let's begin. Um, Debovir et al. Uh, reported on cancer cachexia in patients with non-small cell lung cancer at ESMO this year. What is the most important finding from this study, and should it change the way that we assess nutritional status in this patient population? Yeah. It's a very interesting study because it's included uh, more than 6,000 cancer mm -hmm. patients. It is a lung localization. The very key aspect of this study, it is uh, uh, dividing patients with different groups. Okay. Relationship between uh, weight loss and survival. Mm -hmm. It is uh, very important because this data shows that patients with weight loss have uh, reduced one-year survival mm. during treatment. And it is independent factors which affect on the survival of these heavier patients. Wow. And now, oncologists before treatment, before chemo or radio mm. or surgery, should assessment of the nutrition started this population patient for a reduce possibility to loss effect, loss efficacy of the treatment. Right, right. Um, no, it, it's, it's fascinating and it's, it's, it's important. Um, yeah, it's because it's very easy and uh, right. very, very big data, more than 6,000 lung cancer patients. Right, that's remarkable, remarkable. Yeah. Um, Kassa et al. presented a pooled analysis of two phase three trials evaluating the e efficacy of anamorelin in cachectic patients with advanced non-small cell lung cancer. Can you summarize this data uh, at the trial and discuss its potential impact for clinical practice? Yeah, it is very important uh, uh, data because it is the first drugs which really can help cancer patients with uh, cancer anorexia hexa syndrome. Because the cancer anorexia hexa syndrome is a very heavy complication during cancer disease. And it is independent factor which can diet, which can kill this patient. Right. And namorelin, it is a very interesting drug because it is agonist of the ghrelin receptor. They can to promote increased appetite mm -hmm. and decrease fatigue mm -hmm. and increase lung body mass and fat body mass. Mm -hmm. And this pulled data of the two big trials of the Romania 1 and Romania 2, it, in the summarize, it's more than 900% of the patient, also lung localization, shows that anomerlin to reduce fatigue, mm -hmm. increase appetite, increase lung body mass, the difference between two groups of the placebo and anomerlin right. is uh, 1.7 kilograms. Mm -hmm. And also is the same results as the uh, fat body mass, is mm -hmm. 1.6 kilograms. Okay. It is a uh, fantastic because Previous possibility to use another drugs does not show these results. Mm. It mm. is very important because we can to use this drug during treatment of this patient and really help this patient during develop of the cancer anorexic hexa syndrome. Right, especially since you you mentioned um, that weight loss is an independent risk factor. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. So I mean, it's because the previous data of right. the to be aware, shows that it is very important right. to try to prophylaxis of the weight loss. Right, right. No, I, it's fascinating. Um, Kassa et al. also described the plan for a multi-center, uh, open-label, randomized phase three trial evaluating multimodal intervention versus standard of care for management of cancer cachexia. So can you talk about the rationale for this study? Yeah, it's a uh, very important and uh, uh, big planet trial we known results of the pre-MENEC study. Mm -hmm. And this new, it is a MENEC. We have now results on the two-phase studies pre-MENEC. Okay. It is a similar design, which included physical activity, nutritional support with EPA, and also is anti-inflammatory drugs. Okay. It's aspirin and celecoxib and etc. Okay. Uh, 
the previous study, Preminac, shows that this uh, strategy is very important and really can help patients to reduce of the weight loss okay. and also increase of the quality of life. Mm -hmm. And the new study is the phase, phase three, will be include more than 200 patients and also have a similar strategy. Okay. But there will be more increase of the physical activity parts. Okay. Because it will be includes on the uh, resistance and aerobic exercise. Mm -hmm. It is special yeah. exercise for, mm -hmm. for the increased anabolism. Sure. And if that these results will be published in the future, mm -hmm. I think this strategy it may be main strategy for this heavier cancer patient with anorexic hexa syndrome. That's interesting. That's yep. So we just need to we need to wait and see. We need to yeah. wait and find out what happens. Yeah. Basically, um, well, it will be very wait because it's a, it is a really very important trial yeah. for the cancer patient. Absolutely. With anorexia hexa. Yeah. Well, Dr. Snegavoy, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much. Thank you for your interesting question. Thank you. Absolutely. And thank you for tuning in to Practice Update.